Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. <laughs> I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we have something very special. I hunt it everywhere for this for you. And you couldn't find it because it's invisible. Uh, so I happen to be going to see Local H in Lexington. So I go to the, I'm in the shady part of town. So I walk in the shady gas station and sure enough, they just had a big old pile of them. And when I went and bought it, they're like, what is that thing? Like we didn't know we had it. It wouldn't ring up. And I was like, yeah, I need, I need two. What is it with you and picking up the stuff that won't ring up? Wait, how much did they charge you for? Because four local dollars, like two thirty nine or something. Yeah, you know what? That's I think that's so cheaper than regular. This is four, four local logo. hemp, twelve percent alcohol by volume. It says uh, best paired with four twenty and with junk food. So where's the Dorito? I'm not gonna smell it, even though I want to right out of the. Man, camera. I don't. I don't even want this to be in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god! It's like they juice lawn clippings. Bro, it's darker green than the green that you had in that mini, uh, the uh, growler on St. Patrick's Day. Why is it so duty green? <laughs> the head is green. That is exceptionally carbonated. This is not okay. Look at that carbonation. Uh, Look at that. You gotta the tap. The tap. Uh, Bam. Yeah, I have another head now. Oh my god! Dude, that's so. Uh, dude, it smells like pine trees. You know, that doesn't, um, doesn't smell good. Do you remember the blue one? They smell like roofing tar? <laughs> I remember. This one smells like that. This one smells like that, but with, but with leaves. This doesn't smell like, this doesn't smell like skunk. It smells like roofing tar. It smells like, ah, oh, you know what this is? This is what this is. Okay, picture this. You're you're picturing it. you're standing outside in your backyard raking leaves, while next door someone is rebuilding their roof. Like they've got that they've got that was hot the roof pot. on fire at some point? No, they've got that hot pot with the with the roofing tar heated up so they can slather that shit on. That's what this smells like. It smells like autumn leaves and tar. Uh, that color is very off-putting. This makes me not want to take a drink of this. This smells foul. Well, guess what you got to do? Okay, why do you think they put it in the mm. can? So they don't get to see. Make, this, it stings my eyes. <laughs> Did you enjoy that sip there, bud? It's not as bad as I was expecting it to, but it's still not good. Ugh. It's gross. Does it taste like full? Oh. No, it tastes like really strong grapefruit. Strong on the, it's, it's really strong grapefruit, but you ate like you got a piece of the of no, the section and it. a no, piece no, no, of no, the no. rind. You were smoking out of a grapefruit, then you ate the leftovers. That's <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly what that is. You're welcome. It's got rind in it. Yeah. You you ate the rind because you were high. <laughs> you were just like, this looks. Uh, why has, does this taste like shit? It has the weirdest <laughs> finish. Yeah, the weird finish. That's uh, that's the tar. It's it's tar grapefruit. I'm not getting a lot of the hemp in there, really. Maybe it dashes. There's really it. not much. It's it's just sort of like the afterthought of skunkiness. Like if you were if you were far away from somebody who was smoking, like they were out behind the bar and you walked in the front door, you might be like, "What is that? Huh? Hmm. Um, okay." It leaves like it leaves the aftertaste in your mouth. It's actually not unpleasant. It is like you ate a grapefruit, like for breakfast. No, it's it's unpleasant. I don't think it's I'm that go bad. With this isn't good by any means. It's not mm -hmm. even average. So, um, it's that nasty. It's it really does taste like taste like the peel of a grapefruit. It's slightly sour. A little bit sour, bitter. It's got that herbal. It is a little herbal. Herbal funk to it. Isn't this what you wanted? No, it's, it's not. what you're dreaming of your entire life. No. But I searched so long and hard for this for you. Well, you know, the reason it's hard to find is because it's camouflaged. They shouldn't have done that to their own product. Yeah, but it's in Kentucky, <clears throat> so that means it's going to sell more. I will, uh, Until they see the word hemp on it, and then they're like, oh, Then no. they will, they will run screaming. Uh, I will give this, uh, I will give this unnatural drink a, uh, a two and a half, which I think is pretty. I think that's that's so it's, pretty. It's kind. almost undrinkable, but it, it would be very unpleasant to drink. It's it, this is, that's fairly kind. Mostly, 
Uh, I give it the ex the extra half point. You would possibly you'd be gagging when you were drinking this. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'd give it a half point just because. Look at that color. That is very nice. That is the color that you would expect something that is flavored like hemp to be. That's uh, dirty old pond water, dude. That's dirty old fish tank water. That's dirty old bong water. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's. And that's like the worst thing. He's right. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna give it a three and a half. I think it's. I don't know. I don't know. It's. It's not as hemp forward as I was expecting it to be. So that's a good thing. It is very grapefruit forward. However, it's still very. It's still pretty unpleasant. I would. I could drink it, but I would not be happy the entire time I was drinking it. I probably wouldn't gag on it, but I would be. Un, I would not go out in my way and buy this. Um, you literally did though. I will say. For, for normal human beings. <laughs> I will say, um, it does a good job of covering up the Four loco funk that Four Locos normally have. Yeah, in yeah, you know what? This is, a whole, this is a whole other kind of they, funk. They finally discovered how to get rid of the Four loco funk. Yeah, just put nasty leaves in it. Yeah, so uh, would you recommend this? No. <laughs> uh, no. I, I still can't recommend it. I don't recommend any Four Locos. If you're into... Like these kind of malt beverages, go with Silver Reserve, that Silver Reserve Alloy series, any of those. Um, they have pineapple, the uh, one that, punch. The one that I could handle the most was like the peach one. It tastes like peach rings, kind of. Yeah. That, that one was terrible. But if you if you want hemp flavored things, just just don't because there's no point in having hemp flavored things. <sighs> like it, they don't make sense. It's gimmicky. It I is. mean, it's super gimmicky. Some um, people have probably know, Pavlov themselves into believing that it's hemp. Tasty. <laughs> and. Weed is is very popular right now. Get so your CBD oil. Woo! The CBD gummy bears and everything else made and with your, CBD. The creams and the creams. The creams and lotions. That just became legal in in Kentucky. The the CBD oils, which yeah. have no cannabinoids in them, so it's not uh, well, it's doesn't legal do anything Illinois. for you. Marijuana is legal in Illinois now, Marijuana. as of yesterday. So. No kidding. Yeah. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment right there. Yeah, yeah, right there. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. Thanks. I'm Here not you go. Yeah, yeah, you guys should try this. Try it. You're going to love it. Fucking fantastic. <laughs>